This is a 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon with 4x4. It has a 3.6 liter V6 engine which produces up to 285 horsepower. The average fuel consumption is 10.7 liters per 100 kilometers of highway driving. Vehicle is in pretty good used condition. There is a couple quirks to the vehicle. I'll show you all around the look around. Uh, obviously we do have a bit of a lift kit going on here with some pretty big tires. No major chipping. It does look like there's some scuffing here in the plastic bumper, but no major damage to the front end. The rims are all in pretty good shape. There is a bit of scuffing along this bottom rail here. Um, and unfortunately there is some of the Jeep paint bubbling going on on the door hinges. Um, moving on to the back here, it does look like there was a bit of a dent in the tailgate, uh, but you do have that soft cover for the box and you've got the two hooks on the back as well. And it looks like unfortunately there is a bit of staining here, but still lots of life and we'll still keep it protected. And you got that backup camera there. And we do have remote start on the key phone. There she goes. And we do have the button for keyless entry as well. Up on the door, you do have controls for your side mirrors and then door locks. Obviously the doors come off being a Jeep. Uh, you've got your light controls here and the button for your 115 AC cargo. We've got these nice Rubicon uh, beige leather seats and we do have the Jeep uh, stock rubber mats as well. Let's just hop up in here. It's quite a drum. Uh, but up here we do have hands-free calling and music control and you've also got your cruise control settings. We're only sitting at 47,000 for kilometers, so still pretty low. Uh, you've got these cool little twisting vents here. Uh, we do have Sirius XM capabilities as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, we do also have navigation, just takes a second to load up being inside. And then we do also have the rear view camera. Oh, just got to actually start the car there. And there's your rear view there. And it does show you the front and rear angles. And below the screen, you've got your climate setting. It is dual zone. We do also have heated seats and you've got the heated steering wheel as well. Auto start shut off traction control and a couple other drive mode settings. Below that, you've got your window switches. You've also got your USB, USB-C auxiliary plugins, and there is another 12 volt here. And then down here, you have your other auxiliary options for towing or other packages for the Jeep. You've got your two to four wheel and a fairly large center console with two sections. There is another USB in there, and you can lock this as well for when you do take the doors off. Up top, you got SOS and assist, and you've also got the garage door openers. And in the back here, fairly spacious. This little guy in the middle does drop down for cup holders. And on the back of the center console, you've got two more USBs, two more USB-Cs, and then you've also got a 115 volt plug-in your window controls, vents, and some cup holders there. And that mat does cover all the way across it, buttons here in the middle. And I do believe these seats do lift up, yep. And there is storage compartments underneath here as well. And you've also got a little, air, little spot to store all your bolts and such for taking the top off. And you've got those little cargo nets on the backs of the seats. And if you're interested in going for a test drive, come see us at Huntsville Dodge.